All right, this is a demo of a new video game for Game Boy called Super Ultra Dungeon DX. Now I'm going into this blind. So let's see what it's like. All right. Uh, there is no sound, uh, which is fine. Just confirming. All right, I have a new game. All right. Play. Instructions. Uh, save file. Go back. And eyeball. Let's try going back. No. Let's try. Oh, oh, the cursor changes. All right. So the only option I have right now is play. Boop. Oh my! Character select. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Do you want to play character one? Heck yes. Oh, oh my. Okay. All right. So I have a laser gun. And I can shoot partway across the screen. And they can shoot partway across the screen. Ooh. I can shoot up, down, left, and right. I cannot shoot or move diagonal. I am a bald man. And uh, that's perfect, because that's pretty much what I am in real life. I'll try that again. Yeah, that guy. Oops. That guy. Yes. So we've got three hearts. That's three hits. So if I just choose to get hurt, two hearts. Negative one. Oh, no, I got negative one hearts. All right. Now let's see if I can beat floor. At the bottom of the screen, I see I'm on floor zero. Oh, run away. Press B button to shoot. A button. Doesn't look like it does anything. I'll have to double check the instructions later. All right. Oh. All right, so he's dead. Now, do these guys have a pattern down? No. They do a lot of shooting and then they take a break. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness, how many hits do you take? Okay. Oh, I got six Gs. Oh, right in the face. All right. Oh. oh run away. All right, so these guys have a predetermined path. So the one on the bottom, oh, I see. They all can move in little uh, arcs like this. Oh, what is this? Heal. Oh, there's a heal block up there. Oh, that's nice. I can tell. Oh, I can tell it's a heal block because it says heal. Oh, no fair. Oh. No. Uh, oh, I killed him. I got a ladder. I'm going down. Oh, get away. Oh, this guy is murdering me. Oh, I murdered him. Yes. Huh. I got the sword of righteousness. Okay, that's still the disable. That's still the disable. All right, and if I enter it again. All right, it's still the first guy. That's fine. It's a demo. And I get to play it again. Very cool. All right. I'm not sure why I'll be bringing a sword to a uh, gunfight, but hey, here we are. All right. Let's go back to the main menu. All right. So let me think. Uh, so first of all, in regards to technical technical uh, review, um, <laughs> let's see. There was a glitch where the uh, heart, the health number, went from three to one to 
I'm sorry, 3, 2, 1, 0, to, then to negative 1. No big deal. Uh, let's see here. I made it to floor 1. Oh, if I go back in... Oh, it looks like I started on floor 0 and made it to floor 1, but the floor counter is still at... Uh, when I replay again, I'm back at floor 0, but the floor counter at the bottom of the screen still says floor 1. Uh, it says I... That might be okay. That might be expected. I don't know if that was the intent. That might be intended. That might be the maximum floors I've gotten to instead of my current floor. Uh, looks like my gold. I assume G is gold. I got 16 points. That's cool. Uh, this is the main menu. I assume it's not implemented yet. That's fine because it's a demo. And uh, let's see. I just want to double check the uh, project page real quick and make sure that I'm not missing any of the controls. Let's see here. Okay. Dev notes. So there's one character, two enemy types. Yep. One boss enemy. Oh, I saw two enemy types. Wait, what did I see? No, I think I saw everyone. I saw the, the fuzzy, whatever, these guys. Ugh, whatever. These guys. What am I going to call them? So I saw these guys and then the skeleton afterwards, and then I got the sword. Uh, there's three rooms. Oh, I didn't make it to room three. I made it to room, the second room. B button to attack. The chest dropped by skeletons drops one of three random items. All right, future plans, full main menu functionality. That's cool. More rooms, random rooms, enemy. Ooh, random rooms. Ooh, random, uh, randomly generated games. There's not that many random uh, Game Boy games with random generated content. That's pretty cool. Better pixel art and roar. Uh, shop pride buy items. That's cool. With gold. Okay, so I was earning gold. Very nice. All right. Uh, let's see here. As for the game, so the character, the main character with the gun, looks great. I like his sprite. <laughs> He's a charming little guy, little action dude. Um, the enemy sprites. Uh, what do I see? They. I see. Mushrooms with angry faces shooting puffball clouds of smoke. Okay, uh, is what I interpret that as. Uh, and then of course, this, the next room had the uh, the uh, skeleton. Oh, wait, did I see it there? No, I don't know. Whatever. And uh, and then uh, oh, so and of course the heal item. I was able. <laughs> I'm able to read that it says heal. I can't remember the last time I was in an 8-bit game where the item I collect just literally has the name on it. It's fine. It kind of kind of surprised me. Kind of goofy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how to interpret this main menu screen. It kind of looks like a table. It kind of looks like a set of hallways. Hmm. All right. And what else? Oh, that's right. Probably the most important thing. So graphics, I'm oh, oh, sorry. So generally speaking, in regards to game design, uh, the level of graphics are, the quality of graphics are um, medium important. Um, they're not the most important thing, uh, <laughs> which is good because I play the Game Boy. <laughs> If I wanted high definition, high fidelity, gra high definition graphics, I would be playing the Game Boy. Um, sound is important, but not the most important. The most important thing is that the gameplay is it fun. I don't even care if it's original, as long as it's fun. There's always uh, ways to tweak new ideas and get new games based on what's already out. But uh, in regards to this gameplay, um, my concern is that. I like the idea. I love the action games. I like that it's a top-down shooter. The game that uh, was one of the things that Game Boy excels at. Uh, the I recommend I would uh, consider consider tweaking the speed of the action on the screen. And the reason is uh, this is an action game. My goal is to the intent is to have the player kill these enemies while dodging their attacks. 
the attacks move, come so fast. Uh, the attacks move fast enough, and I move slow enough that by the time they shoot, so I have to be in range to try to hit them. By the time they shoot, uh, the player barely has any time to escape, to move out of the way of the attack. And that might be okay for later stages, but this is the first stage. This is, hey, welcome to the game. You're dead. Ow. <laughs> so, uh, yep, consider tweaking the speeds. Um, I'm not sure what the strategy is. So, in, so other than uh, allowing the player time to get out of the way of the attacks, I'm not sure what the strategy would be when trying to attack them because their attacks seem pretty random. And if there's going to be random attacks, and at the current, current state of things, I almost, I very often got hurt while trying to hurt, hit them. I was able to beat the stage finally, room one, floor one, uh, but it was tricky. And that's because I kind of got lucky being able to dodge the, uh, or because the, the attacks that weren't coming in my direction when I was trying to attack back. And so luck is, uh, luck it can be tricky it can be tricky using luck as a main gameplay element because when the player dies or gets hurt it's frustrating because it doesn't feel like their fault uh, so what would i change here <sighs> how would i do this type of game well i guess one thing to con consider is how <laughs> how gamey you want a video gamey you want to make it uh, and what I mean by that is these guys are poofing poof balls in completely opposite directions from their uh, from the player character. Uh, that might be that might make sense in the game world. For example, if they're just if they're just if they don't care about the player, if they don't care about, they're just there. They they got a poof. They got to shoot their poof balls. Uh, then it makes sense that they would shoot up, down, left, and right, just constantly random directions. But if they're actually angry at the player, it makes sense that they would be generally generally shooting at the player. Um, so, what would I do? It could be... So I think it's fine that they only shoot in the four cardinal directions. I don't know how I would change it. I think if uh, I think if the speed is just tweaked, then uh, then it would be fine. Ooh, what do I think about the distance? So the uh, the bullets only go so far. What is it? Halfway? I think halfway across the screen. My bullets and their bullets. Um, I think that's unexpected behavior. I think when a player first starts playing this, they would shoot their gun and say, "Oh." Well, I thought it was going to go all the way across the screen. That doesn't mean it's bad. It's just uh, not what I was expecting. That's fine. That's just the uh, you know the way y you just learn real quick. Oh, okay. I got a gun that shoots halfway across the screen. All right, I got this. And so the player learns that they have to get closer to the enemy in order to hit them. <sighs> so what is it? You could do something where their attacks are cover a larger area but are a shorter range. But your attack is more narrow, but has a longer range. Now, how would that be challenging? Hmm. Uh, if the enemies move around more. Oh, when do they move around? This is an interesting script. So I shoot him and he moves. OK, so you shoot him once and he starts moving. Oh, and then he stops. Whoa. Okay, I'm learning. Shoot him again, and he runs around like a maniac. I shoot him a third time. Okay. Four. Oh, and then he dies. Shoot him. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Is it random? Down, up, up, left. And then he dies? Oh, he didn't die die okay oh I'm getting better at this oh geez heal 
die. Oof. Oh, yes, he turned into a ladder. Oh, I guess that's another technical glitch. Uh, make sure uh, <laughs> the sprite stops moving uh, before the ladder appears. All right, and then this guy is a punk. Oh, is he getting faster? All right. Base HP up. Oh, it's like a roguelite. What? Oh, gosh. Huh, boss. Oh, this guy. I know these guys. Oh, this is great. Okay, get him once. Uh-oh, he's coming for me. Please die. Yes. Get him. Okay. Oh, jeez. No. I'm losing health left and right. Don't shoot this way. Ah! Okay, he's dead. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Oh, dead. All right. I saw the last floor. Floor two. So I've played floor zero, floor, floor one, and floor two. Very cool. Oh, I like the boss. He's great. But yeah, lots of randomness, lots of fast bullets, and uh, very large hitboxes. So yeah. Uh, the uh, Yep, so just be careful with randomness. Tweak the speeds. I'm just having... I spent a lot of time trying to think of how I would change the game. It doesn't matter. The game is great. It's a great start and a great demo. I think uh, just little tweaks, and it's a, uh, yeah, start to a great game. Thank you for sharing.